Here we are again on the phone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've been waiting for my camera to charge for the last like hour and it's not. So therefore, no. Today I'm giving you my January favorites. I haven't done a favorites in a while. I was gonna do a 2019 favorites, but I felt like it was kind of gonna be repetitive, boring. I'm zipping up my jacket, don't mind me. I've just been busy kind of uh, doing some other stuff for my socials this morning, um, like uh, TikTok, for example. And if you notice my hair is greasy, again, don't mind that. I'm just, uh, it's just today, today, honestly, it's gonna be snowing later. So this morning I woke up late because a gooby likes to wake me up at five in the morning, even on the weekends, which is great. I really like my, I'm sorry, my fit today. Like I really like it, I think I look really cute. Anyways, I have a whole bunch of stuff I wanna share with you guys. So let's just jump right in because I'm not about the long intros in 2020. So let's do that. I have a lot of makeup favorites and a lot of like like random favorites that I've had for like a while. Makeup items. The first one I've recently been using is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys know that I have stocked, like I got a couple of them and I end up donating one, which fun fact, I still haven't donated this whole box of stuff yet because I just got really busy during Christmas times. So we're gonna have to do that soon. I really like it a lot. This is what it looks like. It's comparable to allegedly the Tasha one, which is really expensive. I feel like it does a really great job with my pores right here because I tend to have really massive pores in my face because the girl likes to pop her pimples and pick at her face like it's just a thing like it's never gonna change I'm sorry like I try and they tell you don't pick your face don't pop your pimples but I still do it anyway because that's just me it's just a habit I've had and I don't think that's I don't think the habit's gonna change anytime soon so sorry about it I really think this is a really great primer from the drugstore it was very cheap and it really does an awesome job and I really like it as I'm getting older in 2020 we're about just things that we love and not just these things that we're trying out we love it or hate it and throw it away like I'm so overdoing that. Moving on, this has been the foundation I've been wearing every day to work for like the past couple months now, which is of course the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. It is one of my favorites. I honestly thought for a while I wasn't liking it anymore and I was like, why do I have this? Like, I hate this, but I actually don't. I still really like it. It's a great everyday foundation if you are oily, if you work in high tense stressful situations, which is pretty much any job, let's be real. Especially if you sweat a lot, this tends to keep me matte really nicely and it's great in the summertime. It's great all year round. I love this. And mine is for normal to oily and they also have one that is for dewy. Um, if your skin is more dry, there is a dewy version as well. I again am in the color 115 Ivory. I love this stuff. I've repurchased it multiple times over the years. It still knocks it out of the park for me. One of my favorite foundations of all time, for especially for every day. I tend to have my favorites that I like to wear on the weekends and like to wear during the week and I don't want to waste them at the same time. It's just foundation. Like who cares if you run out of it, just spend money and just got, get it again, Sam. Like what is the matter with you? I'm trying to get over that. Okay. And so my next is a new foundation. I found this at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Actually, no, I found this one at Marshall specifically. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation and mine's in the color NC15. It's what I'm wearing today. I am so lucky okay because this was the only liquid foundation they had left and it was in my shade or I felt like it was a shade that would match me pretty well and it seems to have been doing that and I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of like the matte and poreless where you have to either get a pump for it or you have to pour it out on like one of these little one of these little plastic things which is what I use for it just so I can get it on my face. It gets the job done. It looks great. It doesn't get all weird on me or anything or I don't really get really shiny with it which is great because I do have oily combo skin. It just looks so good. So if you've been wanting to try MAC foundation definitely look at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or even Nordstrom MAC has a lot of MAC makeup products. It was only 15 and I think these are normally like 30 to $40 at the MAC store or anywhere you can buy MAC. So definitely go check there first for cheap makeup, you guys. Like that's in my niche. It's been where I've been getting a lot of my makeup lately. Um, speaking of other makeup, so I have back to another e.l.f. product. This is, oh, Again, I have another e.l.f. product I've really been loving. This is an e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel in the color Taupe, which is one that my mom was using, but she didn't really like it. And that's what I've been using lately since I just got done with my Kylie one. And I think it does a great job setting my brows. They don't like look all crazy throughout the day. The hairs don't get all over the place because I've actually lately just been not trimming my brows the last few months. I've kind of been letting them grow and I'll just like pluck around them for the most part because I've noticed every time that I was trimming it, I was trimming my tail off of this brow specifically and since obviously both my brows are are different they're not the same at all which I don't think anyone's are really the same let's be real it was just really bothering me when I'd fill in my brows and I could just see like how like 
how much I had to draw a tail on this side, not this one. So I decided to stop trimming them. It's been helping a lot. And now I've just been plucking them as of recently, but I think I may go back to trimming just the front part because this part tends to get really crazy and really thick. I don't know, I've just been about a thick brow lately. I think my dad's side of the family because I think that's where I get a lot of my hairiness from. But in this case, oh gosh, I hate when my eyebrows grow back fast. But this is a really good cheap alternative to a brow gel if you don't want to spend money on the Gimme Brow or if you don't have access to any other like Essence Brow Gel Gimme Brow, for example. I really like that one. This one's been really good. So I think I may end up just repurposing purchasing it. I think it also does have like the little fibers in there so it helps to make your brows look a lot more thick and a lot more like filled in and just pretty. really like this stuff a lot. I don't know how much it was because my mom just gave me this one but I think it's probably like three or four dollars at the drugstore. Eyeliner I wanted to share with you guys. This is the Sephora Colorful Crayon Contour. What the hell? What the? Call it what it is. It's an eyeliner. It's an eyeliner. That's all it is. It's a waterproof eyeliner. Okay so this is the Sephora Colorful Waterproof Eyeliner in the color coconut and it is matte and it is what I've been using in my waterline as of recently on the weekends. Mine's like all gross as you guys can see right there, but I've really been loving it. It's been staying. It looks nice because I can't seem to find a white eyeliner anymore, a nude liner that I could throw on my waterline. I don't know why. The Wet n Wild, I think they discontinued theirs because I couldn't repurchase it. So I ended up getting this one. I think it was $12 at Sephora, which isn't too bad again, but y'all know how I feel about buying certain things at Sephora and Ulta. Like I'm just, sometimes I'm just really cheap it's so funny because I feel like I literally just talked to you guys about all of this but I did because I did film that video and decided not to post it because I didn't like it yeah next couple lip products I'm always all over the place with lip products I always love like the same ones or wear the same ones or I just one day I'll want to wear a Jeffree one and then a Kylie and then something in my drawer or Marc Jacobs or Wet n Wild or whatever like I'm always all over the place I've noticed recently that I've really been gravitating towards Kylie's lipsticks again like I still have been wearing Jeffree a lot as you guys have probably seen on my Instagram but I do post Post selfies I do try to put the hashtags of the brands of the products I use as well as the lipstick that I'm wearing for the day or the lip gloss if you're curious you could go check out my Instagram down below I've really been loving these three shades specifically or more so these two and then I don't know why I took bear out but I do like wearing bear bear is a really pretty color it is a I think it's matte I think bear is matte I've really been loving just Kylie's nudes lately especially charm is what I'm wearing today and I really love it a lot and I've also been like overlining my lips so that's another favorite because I just like to make them look bigger not overlining I've been trying to make them look bigger because I'm just weird like that and I already have big lips so why not accent that you know I have the shade Kylie which is a matte I love so much I really want to get it in a velvet because it's just such a beautiful color I love how it looks on me and I just love I don't know I just love in general maybe it's just the lip liner look because anytime I wear a lip liner I feel like my lips just look so luscious and amazing and every time I don't it's just kind of like still looks good but it's just not as like plump you know the kind of effect that I want so these three shades have been definitely some of my favorites. I have a lot of Kylie nudes. You guys already saw my video of me getting rid of some of them. Hello, everything falling down. You guys saw my previous video of me decluttering this makeup collection. Godspeed to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> they probably got rid of some of them because I just wasn't wearing them or they expired or whatever. And to go along with that, I have to share the Kylie Coconut Liquid Line. Liquid Light. This can you just try and like use this as a liquid eyeliner and someone just for to spite me because I keep saying things or something when they're not. This is the Kylie Coconut Lip Liner, which is supposed to be paired with the Bare Lipstick, which is supposed to be Kylie's favorite combo or whatever before she came out with her Kylie shade. I absolutely love it. I think it's like the perfect, oh hello, it's like popping out again. There you go. But it, I think it's like the perfect shade to just put underneath like any lighter nude shade like Kylie or Bare. It just looks so good. Makes your lips look so big and contoured. And oh my gosh, like I can't get enough of it. So this is definitely one of my favorite liners of all time to wear and under any nude shade. It just looks amazing. And then I have a few glosses. I have to share a, another Kylie one. I recently got this one like a while ago. I think I told you guys about it in a haul or something. I don't remember. This is Daddy's Girl, which is so gorgeous i love wearing this on top of anything especially charmed i just think it makes it look so nice and luscious and like oh i can't get enough i love kylie's high glosses they're some of my favorites of all time and most of you guys know the kylie high glosses are some of my favorite glosses of all time they're just so thick and juicy and i love it i'm gonna eat my words again <laughs> i think i shared these in another favorite so i apologize if this is a repeat jeffree star the gloss glosses i've been wearing these two a lot on top of lipsticks you can definitely tell in this one that i have 
I have been using the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Gloss Shane Glosson, which is just a clear gloss and smells like root beer. Fun fact, my great grandma always used to give me root beer when we would go like hang out with her at her cottage and I used to love root beer and now I just don't like it, but I love the smell of it. It just like brings me back, it's like nostalgia for me. So this is what that gloss looks like. I believe this is a permanent collection in Jeffree's cosmetic line. So if you want any of that stuff when it comes back in stock, definitely get the gloss. It's really great to pair over anything or just wear by itself. It's just a really awesome awesome clear gloss, which I feel like I don't have many of. The other one I've really been wearing is Diamond Juice, which there's a lot of missing in there, which smells amazing and it looks really pretty. It does look really pretty. I do like to wear these more on top of sticks or like a lip color compared to just wearing by itself. You can wear them by yourself, but I just feel like they wear off too easily when I do that. So I just like to pair them on with something else. They're good glosses too, but I just definitely not my favorite. <laughs> Everything keeps falling. So let's get a move on here because I literally, literally, ew, I can't. Oh my God. Why do you keep dropping everything today? Eyeshadow palettes that I've really been loving. I recently purchased this one a couple weeks ago. Again, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, this was only $20 and this is like $45 on Sephora's site right now. T, we're gonna go back for a second. I have used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I haven't kept up with it since season six. I'll be honest, like I've just kind of been like a little off the radar. I remember watching season five back in 2013 with my mom and I just, I don't know, we, that, that season just spoke to me so much and like I really loved all the queens on there. Like they were all amazing. And of course, Alyssa Edwards was one of them and I love her. I think she's just so sassy with her back rolls <laughs> like I just like girl look how orange you look like I just love her I recently just watched binge watched the whole season five of RuPaul's Drag Race just because I bought her palette for with uh, Anastasia and it's just it's so beautiful it's so pretty and I absolutely love it I've used a lot of the nude shades I want to use more of like the colorful shades obviously you guys can see I got a little bit colorful today I'm trying to be more versatile I really love it and I love that one is called back roll <laughs> I do like to wear back rolls on my crease. <laughs> I think the formula is amazing. Anastasia's shadows are some of my favorite. I have the Modern Renaissance palette and it's just still one of my favorite formulas of all time. So besides the fact that it's pink, duh, like, can you like, hi. Favorite color right here, like amazing. And I just love how it's always and forever, Alyssa Edwards. <gasps> like it's just nostalgia for me I don't know I always watch season five and season six of Drag Race and then I stopped I don't know why I just kind of like I don't know I got over it real quick <laughs> I'm gonna briefly mention these because you guys already know what they all look like I think I already shared these in a favorites too but I still like them anyway the conspiracy palette I haven't used it in a minute because I've just been obsessed with everything else I've re recently purchased but I have been before using a lot of the mini controversy palette and the mini breaker palette together and I think that it just looks amazing again Jeffree shadows again are one of my favorite formulas of all time so there's no really saying much more about that i wanted to share a couple contour bronzer fangs so one of them is the profusion contour palette i believe it's only seven dollars i got mine off of target.com but I'm sure that you guys could probably find it. Even at TJ Maxx, they have a lot of Profusion products. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I just want to put that out there because I feel like someone's going to be like, Sam, you're sponsored. You're talking about TJ Maxx. No, I wish. I absolutely love this contour palette. I love using the medium contour shade right here. I was using this as an everyday palette, every day, every day for my bronzer. And I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use. It does get really powdery though, obviously, because that's just how the formula is but it looks amazing. Like it blends like a dream and it looks good and you don't have to mess with it so much. So if you are on a budget, if you need a cheap contour palette, this right here, amazing. As well as this little, there is a shimmer highlight right here, which I've hit pan on. I absolutely love it. It just gives you such a nice subtle glow of a highlight and I'm obsessed with it. So again, if you're looking for something cheap, this is really good. I really like it. It's just kind of powdery. It's the only thing that I don't like about it, but you know, I can look past that. It was $7 and it's amazing. And it's still one of my favorite products to use every day for on the go, quick and easy, get it done and go. I like to save this for the weekends, <laughs> but this is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Bronzer. Oh, love, 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 love. I love using more gray toned dark bronzers like this during the winter time, especially because the last thing I want to do is look like an orange popsicle when I'm going to work on the December or Tuesday morning. You know what I mean? So I really just love these kind of tones of bronzers to begin with. I think it looks amazing. I'm wearing it today. It just blends out really easily and it looks great. And again, don't have to worry about it, but I especially love it because like the pan and the packaging just, oh my God, 
it's so gorgeous and if you guys saw my uh when i bought myself for my birthday haul like a couple of months ago <laughs> this was part of like their tarts like seven for like 60 deal which is a great deal i have to say and i definitely will do it again in the future but i really love this bronzer it's really great for every day or if you want to save it for special occasions you could do that too that's what i do for the weekends and it looks amazing all right the last couple makeup products i want to share are a couple highlight products so first, th there's just no, like, no introduction for this really. Like, it's here. You guys saw me open this up and unbox it in my Jeffree Star Mystery Box unboxing vlog, which I'll leave that down below if you guys want to see that. Finally got all of my Black Friday mystery boxes for the holiday season. I ordered one of his Extreme Frost, which it is a bit pricey. It's about $50, but it comes in this really, let me grab it. Ugh really pretty white case makes it like even more bougie and it just came in right there it was kind of like getting like a really expensive watch or something like ooh, but then it's like a highlighter like yes like this i would say like this is like jeffrey's version of like a luxury high like this is like his luxury highlighter to be completely honest i love it it's amazing this is his one of his extreme frost and lick my glit because i'm very like very tongue-in-cheek around here Mm -hmm. oh my gosh you guys like when i say like you really don't need that much it literally it's just so pretty and i know this lighting is not doing it justice but it is so gorgeous it's so extra if you want to be extra this is that highlighter and i love it so much oh my god like it is so pretty and i'm so happy that i was able to grab one of them there's also a couple other shades i'm not quite sure there's one is like a i want to say more blue toned i believe and one's more of a green toned effect i'm not quite sure so don't come for me but other palette which again tj maxx that i recently purchased and i really love i'm wearing it today it just gives me kind of like a lit from within glow it's not like a crazy glow which is a reason why i feel like this would be great for every day if you you know when you go to work and stuff you still want to glow but not be too much this would be great for you this was ten dollars on clearance untouched untouched at marshall's but i did go to tj maxx last night they had a lot of these palettes for fifteen dollars untouched on clearance so if you want this definitely go check out your local tj maxx or marshall's this is the glam glow glow palette and it is so pretty oh my gosh i think this was originally like 30 dollars on sephora site or something like that and i did really want it because it was pink obviously i love the highlighters i think it's so gorgeous it says hello sexy and then glam glow in the middle so gorgeous i love mixing these two together and it just gives me like a perfect little glow nothing too crazy and the packaging is very like i don't know it makes me feel like a kid like it's very it's like all rubbery and silicone and she's like I don't know, like it's just different. And I really love it on there. It just says glow. Now onto some random things, okay? I haven't worn these for a while, but I still wanted to share them with you guys because if you could still find these Violet Voss lashes, I highly recommend. I feel like I've mentioned these before. So I apologize if I did. These are the Sexy and I Know It Limited Edition Faw Mink Lashes, and which are so gorgeous, which I wore on my birthday. I wore birthday party, that sort of thing. They are so pretty, so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. And I really will start wearing lashes again, which I was for a minute. And then I kind of stopped because life, man. Like sometimes when I have to go to the grocery store and do errands, I don't feel like putting lashes on. I'm sorry. That's just the reality of it. And then, and then, and then, and then. Okay, these hoops. I don't have the ones in here that I always wear, but these are a couple of the other ones. These are by A New Day from Target. They were $7.99 for the pack and you think you get two gold pairs and then a silver pair. They are the lightest, lightest, lightest hoops I've ever worn in my life. I love wearing big hoops. I'm not today obviously but I normally love to wear big jewelry and big hoops because just there's just so like like hoops are just me it's just what I like it's my aesthetic I hate wearing hoops when I get them from like Walmart or Charlotte Russe used to get them from icing Claire's whatever and they're just so heavy and not only that but like they just start to annoy me because my hair is long and it's just like a whole huge mess and I'm like Ugh, like I just can't do deal with it anymore I end up taking them out or they start to like make my ears itch because my ears are very sensitive to a lot of like fake a lot of fake metal so that's always been a problem for me these don't do that at all they're very lightweight you don't really feel like you're wearing them they are amazing so again these are what they look like they're by a new day love these these are so good so lightweight especially if like you want to be trendy for like the first half of the day and then give up once you get to like your significant others or like once you get home or like whatever the case like you just get sick of it i don't even know you're wearing them like they're so lightweight i can't something else i have been meaning to share this with you guys for like two months now and i keep 
forgetting about it. it is one of my fake luxury buys <laughs> or imitation I should say from Amazon this is just a white checkered imitation Louis Vuitton zip wallet which I really love a lot because I can fit so much in here and it's kind of like an accordion effect as you guys can see right there obviously you could tell that it's you know it's fake because like the designs are kind of off but I don't really care I just like the look of it and I like how compact it is I've really been into having a small wallet the last year or so like I just don't really want to have like a big wallet anymore because sometimes I do like to just take my phone out and my wallet and go and not really carry a purse or anything but this has been amazing and I really love this one and then I also have to just go on to my bag which if again if you follow me on TikTok I already did a video about this so this was actually on clearance and I think it's still on clearance at TJ Maxx it's kind of like in a gift box if you happen to go and if they do have them there this comes in a black and a brown but obviously I got black this is a little Steve Madden mini backpack I got it for only $20 it was originally 60 and then in the store it was like 35 and then it was marked down to 20 which I mean if you can find this cheaper than I'm like hell yeah I absolutely love it. it has this cute little tassel keychain on it and it has like this it's just it feels really nice like I really like it a lot and then of course you open it up and I've been using this as my purse lately since I purchased it that's how it opens up right there and then there's a small little pocket in the front and has like little pockets in the front right there you could like put your lip gloss or whatever you want to do in there and then there's another compartment on the other side it's just really cute and tiny and compact I've been wanting kind of like a small backpack like this for a while I did I did have one I just got rid of it. I have like a smaller backpack than this, but I just wanted something that was like easy and convenient for every day and I don't have to like struggle with it. And I really love the straps because they just say Steve Madden and they're nice and thick too and like big because sometimes you know you get those backpacks and they have like these small little straps and I don't know about you guys out there but for me like the straps after a while if I'm wearing it in the summer it hurts my arms like digs in my armpits and I hate that so I'm really really happy that ha happened hello really happy that I found this at TJ Maxx it's so cute and it's I love it it's definitely oh my gosh like I love this so much I love it so much I love it so much last favorites I want to share with you guys are some pairs of shoes. You guys have probably already heard about these but I tend to buy a lot of my sneakers from Walmart New York normally because they're just cheap and they get the job done but these are seriously one of the comfiest pairs. I don't know if they still have them. These are just these black sneakers that I love to wear just like every day to work, wear them in the summer, wear them out quick, whatever. These have been my go-to and they have really good ventilation in them as well so if your feet tend to get really sweaty or anything or gross then that's not a problem because there's great ventilation in the material and I absolutely love these these are amazing I wear them to work all the time I just slide them on and go and I have no problems with them so I'm not sure what the brand is but this is what they look like my mom has a pair too like we're just obsessed they're so cute Danielle and I the day before Christmas Eve we actually went to Plato's Closet I've been wanting to go and do more thrift shop like I've been wanting to go to like thrift stores and like check go thrifting and just like try it out because I've never really done that I always just go to the mall or something and like spend a whole bunch of money we went to Plato's Closet closet which I know is kind of a thrift store kind of not whatever debatable I found these and I have been wanting a pair of these for a very long time but they are so expensive and I know that they're thrifted and it's kind of weird probably I don't know I love them these are my vans I got them for what does the price say on there $18 $18 and this is what they look like. I actually broke my nail getting them on on Christmas Eve. That was great, but I really love these a lot. These are, these are the uh, vans with the tie and they have like the white stripe on the side. I really love these a lot. I'm so happy that I found them there because I didn't have to spend money, but they are just so cute. I haven't worn them recently because I've been wearing a different pair that I just got that I really love, but I have to start wearing these again. These are definitely one of my favorites, again, to just like wear if you want to be trendy, you want to look cute, want to be comfy. These are very comfortable, to be honest. And to be honest, my feet are very wide. So anytime I used to wear my Converse in high school or anything, shoes that are like really kind of constricting on my toes, my toes kind of start popping out of their joints, which is and like, you know how when you crack your knuckles, that's what would happen to my toes. And I absolutely hate it. It's so uncomfortable. So I love that I found a pair of these because they're nice and wide for my feet as well. And I have like little feet. Everyone makes fun of my feet. They're like, your feet are so small. Your feet are so small. <laughs> The last pair I got these like two weeks ago three weeks ago two weeks ago at TJ Maxx yes I'm that girl I'm that girl with these I love these these are I've been wanting a pair of these <laughs> since 
high school. Danielle used Danielle and I used to be friends with this girl. Like she was always like we always called like we always referred to her as like the rich girl because she always got whatever she wanted. Like her parents didn't care. Even though her and Danielle live in the same neighborhood, like her parents like spoiled the crap out of her and she always had like the new things and like got whatever she wanted all the time and go to the mall and have all this money and whatever. She had a pair of these and I was always like, oh my god, I love those shoes. Like why can't I wear them? The girl ended up getting them for only $30, so I was very happy about it. Are the Adidas tennis shoes, I believe that's what they're called. Mine are in white and they have the black stripes on the side and I absolutely love them. They are so comfy, so comfy. I love them. They also remind me a little bit of like my Etnies, my old skater shoes from middle school. They are so cute and I just kind of have them like not really laced up like that, how I used to in middle school too, just because don't want to deal with the ties, but I love them. They are so cute and the only bad thing is that they're white and I'm very like particular and I don't want to get them really dirty really nice pair of shoes in a very long time i don't really wear nice like nice sneakers at all so i'm so happy that i have these i just forgot to show you guys one more thing it is a makeup product i got this from dollar tree it is equivalent to that color switch that is like 30 20 to 30 dollars or something like that i have no idea but i found mine at the dollar tree that you use to like switch out your eyeshadow colors or whatever if you're using different like same brush for multiple colors you just swish it around in there and I absolutely love this and it was only a dollar so like you can't go wrong with that. That was all of my favorites for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and helped you out in some way and gave you some ideas of things you want to get and before I go I have to say that my last and final favorite which you guys probably heard about already I accidentally like toned my hair too much and it turned purple but I'm really feeling the purple right now like I'm feeling it like it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I feel like the butterfly emoji is going to be my emoji this year besides watermelon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to be doing a couple other videos this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the videos I'm doing. It's not even funny. It just requires a little bit more work and I'm very nervous about it and I put it off till the end and then I get mad because I hate the way it comes out and then I'm like, oh, stressed. Anyone else? I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so you know when I post a new video and I will see you guys next week for some new ones. Yee! Prepare for the TikTok videos. They're coming soon. Love you guys. Bye.